college idiots who don't even know what the hell they're doing? That these hysterical college graduates don't even know what the hell they're doing and they take it a day at a time and then when they get caught, they cover it up with the media, government media complex, which makes them look so intelligent. Do they really know what they're doing? I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they're much smarter than you think. Maybe they're much stupider than you think. But we have a right as Americans to ask, where do his loyalties lie? Is he a Muslim? What kind of Muslim? Which side of the Muslim equation is he on? After all, we're fighting for our survival right now. Whether you know it or not, you are facing an existential crisis for the rest of your life. Will this nation be taken over by the Muslim Brotherhood in a stealth manner, as many say it already has at the upper levels of government? And will your children be forced to bow to Allah in their lifetime? You don't think that's a rational question? About 20% of the American people do. What would you like to do, put them in prison camps? Would you like to erase their minds? Would you like to make it year zero or government zero for them? Would you like to take the 20 or 25% of Americans who think that he's a Muslim, who hates America, would you like to execute them? Is that the kind of liberalism you're practicing? No, of course not. Would you like to re-educate them? Of course, that's what you're doing. And would you like to silence them as you've tried to do to me for 21 years, but you haven't succeeded? And you'll never succeed. I'll be here after you're gone. How do you like that? I'll be here after Media Matters is in prison. And I'm not the only one. I have every reason to tell you we're fighting for the survival, personal survival, national survival. We're fighting for it. And I want my granddaughter to I want my granddaughter to grow up, granddaughter to grow up in a free America. I don't want her bowing down to Mecca. I don't want her bowing down to some cretin in the White House, some snake, some serpent. I don't want her to be afraid to be a free thinker like her grandfather. That's what I'm fighting for. I got chills up my spine as I speak to you. Everything is at stake. It's easy to think, ah, you know, these right-wing guys, they're making it worse than it is. It's not that bad. Look, the sky is blue. The clouds are white. I can watch a basketball game tonight. Well, you could do all of those things, and you could also be an ignorant moron. You could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars and be a political moron. You could be an ignoramus. You could be making a million dollars a minute and be a moron. I've met many of them. They don't even know what's going on in front of their eyes. So if you look at the Google question, is Obama a Muslim? You get the answer. Well, says 20% of American people still think he's a Muslim. Trump doesn't challenge anti-Muslim question at an event. Oh, boy, why don't you re-educate Donald Trump? Why don't you make him listen to Megyn Kelly to tell him how to think? Chairman Mao's mistress there. Chairman Mao's mistress, Martha Mao. That's what I'll call her, Martha Mao from now on. Martha Mouthpiece would be better. Martha Mouthpiece, the cheerleader of the radical left. Okay, here we go. Savage Nation, hour three. Year zero. Government zero. Line one. KSFO, fire away. Hello, Dr. Savage. Yes, you're on the air. Please state your case. Yes, he is definitely a Muslim. He actually warned us five days before the election that, you know, he was going to be five days away from fundamentally transforming America. He also said in books, in the book, Dreams of My Father, I will stand with the Muslims should the political wind shift in an ugly direction. I mean, what more proof do you need than that? I don't know. Uh, apparently, uh, CNN thinks that you're a racist and you have no right to even remember what you read. Your mind has not, not yet been erased or re-educated. Maybe they need to uh, re revise his book told us that point blank he's the one that said it he's the one that came out and told us all in front of god and everybody john stay on the line i'm sending you a free copy of government zero which will be out any day now it won't be in the bookstores for a while i can't rush it up i wish we could i wish it would have been out for the debates i cannot make it come out earlier all i can do is implore you to please for god's sakes go to amazon bonds and noble buy a copy get it now that's all i can say and you know what I decided? I, I really have to figure this out. It's my last big nonfiction book. I'm going to do a dog book after this soon. I have it all ready to go with pictures of Teddy. I want to change a little of the pace of my life, but this is so important. 
I was trying to figure out how to make you understand how important government zero is. And I realized many of you figure I know it all, but you don't. You really don't know the ins and outs the way I, for example, 8,000 word chapter on, on, on Lenin's Pope, how he started as a bouncer, became a priest, worked his way up, and why he was selected to be a pope, and why he selected to be the first pope to speak before Congress. How did that happen? It's all in government zero. And then the connections between this administration and Mao's uh, uh, mental, mental outlook and where this could go if we don't stop them. Again, in another major chapter in government zero. But then I realized many of you say, well, I know it. Why should I read it? Then buy it for someone in your family who doesn't know the danger we are in. Buy it for a so-called enlightened liberal relative who thinks that they're uh, so educated and that everyone on the right is, is a Neanderthal. Why don't you buy it for them and give it to them as a gift for Thanksgiving or for their birthday? I said, I don't know how else to ask you to do this. I think everything is at stake, which is why I put myself out on the line on this show every day and in writing every day. And don't think I don't know what could happen. I know we are living in desperate times and I know how desperate these people are at the top to pull the wool over your eyes and keep you in the darkness. And the worst thing for them are people like Michael Savage, who is onto them, has been onto them, and exposes them every day. Now, you can marginalize me and say I don't exist, as they have done for years, as they have done on Fox News, a part of the Reich. But still in all, the audience is there, the stations are there, the people are there, and they're fuming. That's why Trump is rising. That's why Trump is rising, because you're not alone. Trump made you understand that you're actually part of the silent majority. You actually are the majority of America. And the communists, Maoist, vermin in the media are a tiny, teeny, tiny minority of left-wing America haters, family haters, God haters, church haters, family haters. That's who they are. Drug addicts, almost every last one of them. Laugh at me if you want. Find out if I'm wrong. Almost every one of those psycho leftists are on drugs, one way or the other. They're either medicated by a crackpot doctor or they're taking illicit drugs in order to get up and lie every day. I think I'll take a break. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. The only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. You know, I so the girls on Fox News are twittering and going mad over the fact that uh, Trump uh, didn't say anything about Obama Muslim comment, blah, blah, blah. Well, they ought to have retired four-star U.S. Navy Admiral James Ace Lyons, four-star Admiral Megan, and all of, all of the other girls of the Reich, Four-star U.S. Navy Admiral, retired, was at the National Press Club last year, and he says that the Obama regime has been fully infiltrated by the Muslim Brotherhood terrorism front group on every level. I'm quoting him now. He said pro-radical, the, uh, the pro-radical, radical Islam group is in every level of U.S. security agencies. Admiral Lyons went on to say that the transformation of America has been in full swing ever since 2008. And when Obama campaigned on a platform to fundamentally transform America, he said Obama has done exactly that. Admiral Lyons went on, four-star admiral, not Megyn Kelly. She's a one-star liar. In addition, Admiral Lyons made the important point that there is no meaningful line between Islam and radical Islam. He said Islam is Islam. Speaking about Obama's refusal to attend the recent march in France, remember that? attended by 50 world leaders to condemn Islamic terrorism, following the gruesome murders of cartoonists who had the audacity to lampoon Islam, Admiral Lyons said the act was a signal to Islamic jihadis and is one of many signals he sent over the years while in office. He said, with the Muslim Brotherhood penetration in every one of our national security agencies, including all of our intelligence agencies, let me read on. Admiral Lyons not Mrs. Liar, Admiral Lyons said that, quote, our lead intelligence agency is headed by a Muslim convert, a reference to Obama CIA head John Brennan. He added that the new GOP majority in both houses of Congress were elected to, quote, stop the transformation of America, not to see how they could work with the president, close quote. Four-star Admiral says he's a Muslim, says that the country's been penetrated, 
And so when Donald Trump doesn't stop one of the listeners or callers or attendees at his campaign saying Obama is a Muslim, he says, well, we'll look into that. And for that, he's attacked by the liars on Fox News. Attacked viciously like he's a bad guy. It's that simple. The numbers speak for themselves. Four-star admiral, what, he's a lunatic? You're going to believe the drug addicts in the media rather than a four-star admiral? You're going to believe someone who peed down his leg when Obama became president rather than a four-star admiral? You're going to believe a drunk Democrat hack on, on MSNBC rather than a four-star admiral? Go ahead. Believe who you want. So the question is now in play again. Is Obama a Muslim? Thank you, Donald Trump. Since 25% of the American people think he is a Muslim, we have to talk about the question. And the question is, what kind of Muslim is he? Which side is he on? Which part of Islam does he support? And I want to reiterate so you don't misquote me. There are Muslims who oppose radical Islam, such as the King of Jordan and the President of Egypt. Obama does not support them. Why? Which side is he on? He won't send weapons to Jordan or Egypt. Why? Why is he letting ISIS rage? Why? Because the tail wags the dog. Who is the tail? Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Many millions of Chinese. I had no idea the extent to which Mao Zedong uh, killed Chinese, 45 million in four years. But the part that alert, uh, alarmed me last night was the 1960s in China when he invented what he called the Cultural Revolution. And the little red books were distributed. They were sold in San Francisco in a communist bookstore, City Lights bookstore, a front for the New World Order, uh, the, the, uh, the communist left, in my estimation, run by one of the greatest shysters in the history of uh, poetry, in my estimation. And all of the little minions in San Francisco ran around with their little red books, wearing little blue suits, thinking it was cute to mimic the mass murder of Mao Zedong. And then what appeared in San Francisco and Berkeley was astonishing. Once liberal cities became bastions of hate, bastions of authoritarianism, bastions of loudmouth radical feminists who took over the cities and shouted anyone down who disagreed with them. And now we have the sad situation of dictatorships in Berkeley, dictatorships in San Francisco, and every other so-called liberal bastion in the United States of America being run like little mini Maoist states. The only thing missing, they had the complete re-education. The newspapers don't exist anymore. The universities and schools are espousing uh, the party line. Whatever the leader says, whatever Chairman Mabao says, they do. Whatever Ob Obama says, they agree. They don't question it. They're loyal little soldiers. A loyalty that you've never seen in the history of this fair nation. The only thing missing now, we have the re-education camps. They're called schools and universities. They're called uh, the media. Those are the re-education camps. You do know that, don't you? They don't actually send you to a place to relearn. They don't have to send you anywhere. They took over the places that do the re-education. So the only thing missing now is the actual beatings, arrests, and murders in America. But everything begins with an idea. Hitler wasn't the beginning of anti-Semitism in the death camps. That idea originated with a French anti-Semite. It starts with an idea. Great oaks from little acorns grow. We are living through a very dangerous trans-ish transition in America right now. And there's only one individual who actually knows what's going on is willing to say it. He's as clear-eyed on it as I am, Donald Trump which is why the Lilliputians of the Reich are attacking him. I need not say any more. I just want to reiterate something I said earlier. Again, I want to reiterate why I'm doing this today, why I'm not just doing a throwaway show of open mic, say what you want. All right, John. All right, John, goodbye. I, anyone could do that. John, goodbye. You know, act like a wise guy. Everyone's a big wise guy when they have a microphone. I watched Mao's Great Leap Forward where he killed 45 million people. I was just jumping up and down saying, wait a minute, I'm alarmed. I knew it was bad. I didn't know how far gone we really were. I said, wait a minute, the Cultural Revolution? Haven't we had that in America? Isn't that what the hippies uh, brought to us? Isn't that what the vermin in Hollywood have done every day of the week? Isn't that what the rats in Hollywood, every, their stock and trade, Sean Penn, communist? What do you think he is? 
Put two and two together. Put